Hi, welcome back. I'm scientist Kate. This is grade kindergarten, sunlight and weather, lesson 2.3, investigating sunlight on Earth's surface. For this lesson, you won't need any at-home materials. You'll just need listening ears, observing eyes, and a thinking brain. Are you ready to do all of those things today? Awesome. Are you having a good day today? I am. It's sunny again in Seattle today, and I'm really excited to get outside and enjoy the sunshine after we finish our lesson. I hope you're gonna get outside today too. Are you ready to do some science? All right, let's get to it. Welcome back. We've been trying to figure out why Earth's surface gets warm. Do you remember what we did in the last lesson? We made a model so that we can investigate how sunlight might warm up surfaces. What did we learn from testing with our lamp model? Let's take a look back so that we can review. In the last lesson, I set up this investigation in my kitchen. I used two lamps and I set them up at the exact same height. Underneath, I put pieces of black rubber and I put a thermometer on each piece. Then I turned on one of the lamps and I left the other lamp off. We investigated the difference in temperature between the thermometer under the lamp that was on and the thermometer under the lamp that was off. As you can see in the, these pictures, under the lamp that was shining, the temperature got up to very hot. Under the lamp that was not shining, the temperature stayed down in, in between cool and warm. We used this data that we gathered to make a graph. Do you remember what graphs are used for? They're used to organize data and information so that it's easy for people to look at it and understand it quickly. So can you tell whether the temperature was higher under the not shining lamp or under the shining lamp? Tell me now. Yeah, the temperature was higher under the lamp that was shining and we can easily see that in our bar graph. We discovered that sunlight makes surfaces feel warm. We used our lamp model to show this and we can use that as evidence because the lamp that was on is like sunlight and it made the surface warm up. It made the thermometer's temperature rise. But the lamp that was off didn't make the temperature rise. So we know that sunlight makes surfaces feel warm. Awesome! We know that a surface gets warmer when light shines on it. We figured that out last time. That is why Earth's surface is warmer in the daytime. But even in the daytime, sunlight does not shine on all surfaces. Take a look at this picture. Look at the street. Do you see an area of the street that has sunlight shining on it? Point to that area now. Awesome. This side of the street has sunlight shining on it. You can tell because it looks really lit up. Do you see an area of the street that does not have sunlight shining on it? Yeah, over here, there's shade. Shade is what we call it when the sunlight is being blocked by something and it creates like a dark area. So in this picture, the building is blocking the sunlight and it's creating an area of shade. Have you ever heard of shade before? Great. I want you to make a prediction about that picture we just looked at. Think about which part of the surface of the street would be warmer and which part of the street would feel cooler. Go ahead and make your prediction now. Okay, do you have your prediction? I do too. What could we do to check our predictions? We could go to this place, but that's not possible right now. 
we're all supposed to stay in our houses to be safe. And this place might be very far away. Is there a different way we could check to see the difference in temperature in the two spots? What do you think? Tell me. Yeah, those are great ideas. Let's go outside and make observations of a surface that is in the sunlight and in the shade. So I want you to think of a place, a surface outside of your home that might have sun and shade at the same time, just like the street we looked at. When this video is over, I want you to go outside and try to find a place that has sun and shade. Or you can pause the video right now and do that right now. I'm going to do this at my house too, so that you can follow along. All right, so I went outside and I found a place that had sunlight and shade. Can you tell what the place is? It's my back deck. So it's outside and there's sunlight shining on part of it, but you can see in the picture, there's also some shade. So I took my hand and I put it into the area that has sunlight shining down and it felt warm. Now, I moved my hand over to the place where there was some shade. Do you see how my hand looks like it's in a darker place? Do you think that that spot felt warm or felt cool? Tell me. When I moved my hand from the sunlight into the shade, it felt cool. So I could tell a temperature difference between a place that was in the sunlight and a place that was in the shade. So if you paused the video and went outside and found a place with sunlight and shade, did you notice a temperature difference? If you didn't pause the video, make sure you try it at some point during the day soon with the permission of the adult in your house. Okay, so we know that you can't just say things are warm and say things are cool. We have to take some measurements because that's what scientists do. They record down measurements of real pieces of data. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the temperature of that sunny spot and that shady spot using a tool. What tool do you think I'm going to use? Yeah, I'm going to use a thermometer because that is the tool that scientists use to measure temperature. So if you want to measure and you have a thermometer at your house, you can pause the video right now and follow these directions to measure the surface temperatures. If you don't have a thermometer at your house, that's fine. I'm going to measure the, the temperatures at my house and you can just follow along. Are you ready? Great. Okay, so I put a thermometer on my deck in the place where it was sunny. Do you see the temperature that the thermometer is telling us? Yeah, it went all the way up to 40 degrees. That is listed as very hot. So we know that that sunlight is giving us a lot of heat in this spot. I moved the thermometer into the shade. That's the area where there's no sunlight shining. Do you see the temperature the thermometer is telling us? Yeah, it's telling us 24 degrees. And we see that that is listed as warm. So let's compare the two. In the sunlight, the temperature was 40 degrees, very hot. And in the shade, the temperature was 24 degrees, which is warm. So which place had a hotter temperature? In the sunlight or in the shade? Yep, you nailed it, in the sunlight. Now, I made an, another interesting observation when I was outside. When I went out onto my deck, I noticed that my dog followed me outside. Her name is Bird Francis. Isn't that a funny name for a dog, Bird Francis? 
She's a dog named Bird. So she followed me outside and she jumped up into a chair. Does that chair look like it's in the sunlight or the shade? Yeah, it's in the sunlight. She jumped up into the chair and she was relaxing and she was laying in the sun to get warm. And then when I was done with my investigation and ready to come back inside, I looked around and she wasn't in the chair anymore. Do you know where I found her? I found her in the shade. She had found a spot under the hammock that was blocking the sunlight so that she could cool off. So animals and people go into the sunlight and the shade to get warmer or cooler. Have you ever done that before? Cool. So let's reflect on our investigation question. Why does the Earth's surface get warm? Do you know the answer? Tell me. The Earth's surface gets warm because sunlight shines on it and warms it up. Pretty cool. So let's think back about what we know about weather already. In earlier lessons, we learned about the different types of weather. We learned that there can be sunny weather, and there can be cloudy weather, there can be rainy weather, there can be windy weather, and there can be snowy weather. We also learned about temperature. Do you remember that? We learned that temperature can be very hot or hot or warm or cool or cold or very cold. Now we want to add to our ideas about why the surface gets warm during the daytime. So how can we draw that on our chart to show what we just learned about surfaces warming up in the daytime because of sunlight? Do you have any ideas about what we could draw? Thanks for sharing your ideas. Here's what I'm gonna draw. This makes sense to me. I made a title that says sunlight on Earth's surfaces. And I drew a surface that I labeled as cold and a surface that I labeled as warm. Which one of those surfaces should I draw a light shining on, the cold surface or the warm surface? Yeah, I'm drawing my sunshine on the warm surface because I'm trying to show that light shining down makes a surface warm up. So now the chart shows the ideas we've figured out about why surfaces like playgrounds are warmer in the daytime when the sun is shining. Awesome job. Here's our big idea. Are you ready? Our big, humongous, giant, mega idea is when light shines on a surface, the surface gets warmer. Do we have evidence to prove our big idea is true? Yeah. What did we do? We made a model. That was cool. We went outside and did an investigation. Those are all things that scientists do to prove their big ideas. Now, how have we worked as scientists today? Let's look at our list of things that scientists do. Did we observe today? Yep. Did we record today? Yep. Did we compare temperatures today? Yep. Did we communicate our ideas today? Yep. Did we make models? Hmm. We didn't make any models today, but we did in the last lesson. Did we read anything today? We didn't read any books today. So we did one, two, three, four things that scientists do. And we didn't do two things that scientists do, but we definitely worked as scientists today. All right, that's it for lesson 2.3, Investigating Sunlight on Earth's Surface. Ms. Diaz will be back for the next lesson, and I'll see you the next lesson after that. If you didn't get a chance during this time 
to go outside and find a surface that has sunlight and shade and feel the temperature difference? Ask an adult in your house if it's okay, and then do it. That's what scientists do. We investigate. All right, stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Adios.